What's up everyone? How's it going? In this game, we have Rack Attack as our blue Japanese player spawning in the west side of Canal. Over here on the east, we have Sass as our red Order of the Dragon. Both players going for wood. House, house. Good stuff. Keep in mind, there are no deep sea fish on this map. They're all shoreline. And also, our Japanese player has, or J uh, Japan themselves, have a sieve bonus that reduces the cost of fishing boats from 75 to 45. They do not get a cost reduction on the dock, like the Aobids or the Abbasid. Instead, they get it directly on the fishing boats themselves. So we're going to yeah. go ahead. Ooh, okay. Never mind. We're just going to get a straight Dark Age rush from Sass. Going out with one spear. Yeah. Don't really think he's going to be over committing into two spears. I think a single will be good enough at this stage of the game. Go straight across the map. Start applying pressure to either the fishing boat or he might go straight towards the gold. Because the gold is pretty far away. That's that's a good distance away from the main TC. And our Japanese player One. did supply block himself as well for a bit there. Probably two, three seconds. No more than that, really. Well, no more than four seconds for sure. Now the good old Gilded Spearman is going to be running across the map. He's going to see the dock. He's not really going to be able to do much about it, realistically. It's going to take him a while to burn it down. But we do see defensive walls coming up now in order to block off the Gilded Spearman from going in any further. At least it'll delay him a bit. It's not like he's going to be able to get a full wall or anything up and running, but it will deter him just ever so slightly or delay him ever so slightly because he would have to run around everything. Not going to make a difference. Still going to get there. Still going to start throwing torches onto the dock. Meanwhile, for our Japanese player, I'd like to see the Spearman just run over here towards the gold, in all honesty. Because it's not like he's going to be able to burn this down. Second Spear and a third Spear actually underway. Second Spear is halfway there. And the third Spear just about to pop out. There we go. It's going to be three Spears throwing torches onto this dock. Japanese player doesn't really care. Rack attack, aka recon, does not care. He is not bothered by okay. this whatsoever. He does have the reduced cost on the fishing boats. If necessary, he could always throw down another dock once he hits feudal. Because, like I said, these it's gonna be 15 damage every one point something seconds, right? It's a torch. Oh, every yeah, 2.12 seconds. Not like it's going to be enough to actually get rid of this anytime soon. Third spear. A little bit more than halfway. Boss. Villager coming out. Going to be placing his own dock from what it seems like. Most likely going into the feudal age. Sass hasn't even started getting any gold. He's just about to start transitioning over there right now. Six villagers on food. Five on wood. None on gold. Which does make it seem like he is going to be going into a dock. Nope. Outpost. For a storehouse. Do not like that position. If this does turn into a navy battle, you could park a couple fishing ships right here. Or a couple ships just along the, just along the riverbed. Boom, I get demonetized. Awesome. So yes, just put them right here. And then there goes the Kura storehouse. Like, I do not like that position. I'm gonna put it up here. Actually, oh, to be fair, there's not any good positioning at all. Unless he throws it up against it, probably. And yeah, that's gonna be the only thing he could do is just throw it up right alongside it. Akin Chapel coming down for Order of the Dragon. What? That's decent positioning. No, he needs to put it up a square. 
square and a half or two squares and then one to the left so he could get the yeah so he could get the gold both of these players are kind of infuriating me with their positioning but it's okay keep in mind these are both top 100 top 150 conqueror players so they should they know better than us they really do Sass dropping down his own dock now with outpost protection and our Japanese player is that the closest he could go yes why not throw it on the other side I'd like to see it on the ha. other side instead it's in range of the outpost as well three villagers getting Oh no, two villagers. Coming out. Yumi Ashigiru will be getting picked off. This has to be some immaculate mi micro coming out. Keep in mind that the Yumi are quick. They're very fast units. They don't have the damage like your normal ar uh, your normal archer, but they do have the speed. So they're able to stutter step a lot better than your normal archer. Disengage and re-engage. Effectively and efficiently. Sometimes, depending on the player. When I'm using them, probably not so much. Two shielded have been picked off already. Third one does make it into the outpost. It looks like it's in range. It's barely out of range. And now we get a galley out for Sass. We'll start laying down the fire onto these fishing boats. They get garrison. Okay, there it goes. Now it's attacking. That's so sh Oh, because now it has the replacement. Okay. Yumi archers, or Yumi Ashigiru, just rotating around. Now we have a junk versus a galley. Who's gonna get the better trade here? Actually, it should be the uh, the junk and honestly because he's gonna be able to start healing up. But nice micro coming out of Sass. But like I said, he's gonna start healing up, so he will be getting the better trade in the long run. And now we get another. Dao coming out or another junk coming out for our Japanese player. You can't be moving forward like this. It's gonna start taking a lot of damage from the outpost that does have the emplacement. It's gonna go down. That was really bad play by Rack Attack. He should not have moved forward. He needed to micro that back. I did see that in the, uh, behind this. He was throwing up his own little walls to defend to cut off the canal ever so slightly. But by doing so, he ended up losing one of his junks. And now, Sass does have a junk and a galley, or excuse me, a hulk and a galley to himself. He will be able to trade out more effectively. Demolition junk coming out for our Japanese player. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, getting a little bit of stutter step going on from our Yumi Ashigiru against a gilded man at arms. This is a fight that will go from one side of the map to the other side of the map before it dies. And the demo ship doesn't even connect. Really nice micro, really nice control from Sass in order to minimize the amount of damage that would have actually happened right there. He minimized it down to zero, but still. Minimize is minimize, right? Literally zero damage dealt there. Or it could have actually been a preemptive a uh, preemptive explosion from Rack Attack 2. And we're gonna get the war junk popping out. Decent amount of military. And now the demo ship is gonna be coming through for Sass right now. What kind of micro are we gonna be able to see out of him? Explosion! Villager does come. Is he gonna be able to get a slight repair on it? He got a very small repair on there, but it will be burning down, especially since the Especially since the uh, outpost does have this arrow slit emplacement. The dock has its own emplacement oh. on there as well. But before it burns down, it is going to get a junk out. The 
arrow slits and place back from the dog. Did get a couple shots off on the war junk that did just recently spawn. He was able to put a dock right here, so he should have actually done this first, in all honesty, instead of putting the dock right here. Because him placing the dock right here triggered Sass to make his uh his galley. That's the only reason that he made the junk or he made the, the galley was because he saw the dock was right there. He made it well within vision. So if he built it back here, built either of these back here, this could have been a potentially different game. 39 villagers, 39 workers, four rack attack, 36 for sass. 22 oh, a villager is going to be going down. 22 military for rack attack. He does have the military lead but it's more on the Navy side instead of the actual infantry ground force type military is sitting on double docks as well. Sass that is Burgrave coming up, coming up. Eight villagers are going to be throwing that up for our red order of the dragon player. This might be a game ending move right now depending on how our Japanese reacts to it, because the amount of man-at-arms that Sass is going to be able to make sitting on a really nice farm eco is pretty devastating, considering Rack Attack doesn't have anything to actually deal with armored units. I don't think any civilization really has much to do or have much to deal with armored units in the feudal age. I'm pretty sure nobody does, and that's something that I would like to see in all honesty if we're able to go if we're able to make armored units in the feudal age we should be able to counter armored units in the feudal age as well outpost fortification already has arrow slits doing an added amount of damage onto these onto the navy of rack attack and we should start seeing okay well after this after the upgrade on the man at arms, we should just see man at arms spam. A huge, huge flood. Have single horseman applying pressure onto the berries. Not sure why he's going so far out when he has his own berries right here. Four villager kills, four sass, one four. Rack attack. He's committing so much to water. And he doesn't even have any fishing boats left, does he? Yeah, he has three fishing boats left. That's it. This is such a heavy committal to the Navy. He hasn't scouted Sass's base to see what's going on. He knows that Sass is in castle, so there being a Burgrave is a huge possibility. The Burgrave has been heavily idled, though. Not a single unit. There you go. Two units finally getting queued Watch. up. It looks like it was actually a Miss Mike, uh, Miss Macro there. And now the demo ships are going to be moving forward. This could be very devastating for both sides. More so for Sass. It does look like he's potentially going to lose water, but he is on two docks. We have more demo ships coming out for him out of his forward most run. Explosion right there. Is Sass going to be able to secure his... No, he's going to lose his last one. Is he? Wow. Sass is going to be able to secure his water. Not only that, he's already in Castle Age. And he's starting to make his Gilded Mad at Arms. Currently sitting on three with the Gilded Knight on the field as well. He's going to be able to just push through so quickly right now. Villagers are being moved out to start grabbing wood out there as well. This is not going to end well for Rack Attack. Gilded Knight going to charge in. Nice connection. Two shots. Gilded Man at Arms come following up behind this as well. Zero reaction out of Rack Attack. Chi Chi gets called. Game goes to our red order of the Dragon Player, Sass. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.